Hard to find good tomatoes in the grocery store. But we found some. Such a nice Saturday. This town is in the process of rebuilding. Even on Saturday, you've got concrete trucks rolling down the main road here every few minutes. Some uh, new construction projects here and there. Trying to put this town back together again. They need a lot of tourists here in Mexico Beach, Florida. Little Nora's doing her little TikTok videos. Of course, we've got the lovely and talented little Norita de Zamboanga laying out the blankie. Headache from sunglasses? Yeah. Uh-uh. Look either. They are trying to screw this day up. So Nora is informing me that. I keep stepping into her frame while she's trying to TikTok. Unfortunately, that cannot be avoided. our setup for today Saturday May 14th 2022 got my fishing rig of course and my apple and my shrimp for bait yep So those little puffy cotton balls right there, those are clouds of that milky stuff up above it there. That is chemtrail haze. You could just see these colors that I'm seeing. Of course, I've got these fishing glasses on. They kind of exaggerate the colors a little bit. But it's very clear in here. I wish I would have brought my little microphone with me. Hope this video is not too windy. I got a feeling it probably is. Beaches are really clean this time. I'm not seeing a lot of trash, cigarette butts, those little wooden uh, cigar filter thingies seen any of that. No debris whatsoever. And that's a good thing. Look how dark those feet are. Oh, my feet looks ugly. It's too dark. Hope it's not too windy. Sitting here next to God's bathtub. Looking due south. Cover up my microphone a little like that. Does that help any? Looking due south, ladies. 
Now, if I were to get into a, uh, a boat, let's say a rowboat, <laughs> and start rowing in that direction, in about two to three weeks, my dead body would wash up somewhere on Venezuela, I think. I don't know. Maybe Aruba. Hard to say. Who knows where you might actually end up. Anyway, due south. Uh, tan lines. Uh huh. See my tan line? Uh, yeah. Slightly, yeah. Slightly? Yeah. Well, my vision's kind of poor. Got my hand cupped over the microphone, hopefully to minimize that uh, that wind garbling noise. We'll, uh, we'll just walk out here for a minute, get a little bit of beautiful 4K footage of this uh, fairly clear Mexico beach water. see where the water's dark right there that's where it drops off I definitely don't want to walk off into that with my iPhone 12 Pro Max in my hand no sir because uh, as far as I know to the best of my knowledge they're not waterproof how's that for you Looks pretty nice from here. Looks pretty nice, ladies. Yes, indeed. How about if I talk into the microphone like this? Is that better? Yes. Oh, don't want to get my phone splashed. It's right on my belly button. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's cold. The password is freezing cold. Actually, it's not that cold. She's been in it for a minute or two. thinking about getting some more of those tacos. I'm thinking about going with chicken tacos today. Just a thought. We got tequila in the room. So I'm gonna start off with a couple of nice mouthfuls of that. And then we'll tear up a few beers. Conclude our vacation. For tomorrow, we head back to North Georgia. That kind of reminds me of something uh, Cuban gangsters wear. Or Puerto Rican gangsters. Yeah. Alright, put my hand back over the microphone. Hopefully that'll block some of the wind noise. The password is Papadopoulos. We spotted a rare Papadopoulos feeding off the coast of South Africa. Boy, we love those beach trips. We usually take about three or four a year. This is a tough year. This may very well be our only beach trip this year. If we do come back, it'll probably be late in the summer, say September. Hopefully not, but we are in the apocalypse, folks. Remember I told you that. The password is apocalypse. We found our asses in 
in the middle of the apocalypse. They see me. That one nestled back down. These little birds right here, they fight a lot. I mean, they'll sit right there next to each other for a long time, and then all of a sudden, they'll just start fighting. Kind of weird. Uh uh. Somebody else took their operations underground. God only knows what's going on down there, deep under the earth. They're getting a little uncomfortable with my presence. for a minute. Then not so cold. <laughs> Ooh. We just went into the genitals region. That was cold. Oh, belly button. Yeah, it don't feel too bad. ocean footage for you there. Oh, these waves are nailing me right in the navel. Ah, chest splasher. Ah, that was cold. Oh, my nipples. And it appears the tide is a rolling in. Yeah, we need the saints to come marching in. You know what I mean? We need the saints to come marching in. Keep her in the frame because there's so much glare on my phone. Speaking of which, I need to get my iPhone 12 Pro Max out of this hot sun or it is going to shut down. They are known for that when they get hot. Would anyone like to go bobbing for jellyfish? 
Sounds like a fun game, don't it? Bobbing for jellyfish. Oh, hello. Tell them, uh, very sorry they couldn't make it. They missed a good, uh, good beach trip. I love to see love to see little children enjoying themselves having a good time excited let me tell you folks we're in an era right now there is a lot of suffering going on. A lot of suffering, a lot of misery, a lot of sorrow. But this is, in fact, the age of sorrows described in the book of Revelation. You may not be seeing that where you're at, but I assure you, there are a lot of people, and includes little, little innocent children, greatly suffering throughout these days. Be sure of that. This is the age of sorrows. A great time is coming, ladies and gentlemen. A great time. That I can promise you, my fine feathered friend. Oh no, that's some of my drone footage. How did that get in there? How did that indeed get in there? Well, while we're looking at it, it is fairly interesting to see the landscape Two years later, after that horrible, horrible storm blew ashore here on the Gulf Coast, Mexico Beach, Florida, USA, about 30 miles from Panama City. If you've ever been there, perhaps you know where that is. Destin, Apalachicola area. Yes, sir, Bob. Yes, sir. That's it, folks. Packing up. Little Nora's going to go to the pool for a little while, but our beach trip is officially over actually might take a walk later on today as the sun's going down but uh we endured about three three and a half hours out here today that's enough all righty then i just went to that little trailer over there tacos de la chaparrita and got some of these ground beef tacos. I wanted chicken tacos, but they were out today. So we got the ground beef. I had steak yesterday. They were awesome. So awesome, I had to go back today, but just look at that, ladies. Look at that. High quality stuff, $3 each. 
I got two left. I just ate one. It was so good. Oh, you can taste the cilantro. They use a lot of uh, sour cream and cilantro in their tacos. So delicious. Oh my God. Uh-oh. I don't know how to explain this, but one of my drone videos got in there again. Flying out over the Gulf of Mexico. Taking a little turn there. To the east. Flying back along the beach there. Hmm. Funny how those drone videos just seem to pop up here and there. Well, so is the way of nature. This drone footage, by the way, is in 4K at 30 frames per second. Shot on my DJI Mini 2, which I highly recommend.